Good evening. Good evening and welcome to the Holloway Poetry Series. I'm Cecil Giscombe, and tonight uh, you're going to hear two readings, uh, two poetry readings, a reading first of all by Berkeley's own Alec Jezorek, and uh, after Alec reads, uh, you'll hear tonight's visitor uh, to the series, who is uh, Clark Coolidge. Uh, Clark Coolidge will be introduced by Daniel Benjamin, and uh, I'm going to yield the podium to Samia Rahimtala, who will introduce Alec Jezorek. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to introduce Alec today. Um, I'm just going to say a little bit about his work. Um, prepare you for it. <laughs> um, so on the page, Alec's poems present themselves as matrices. In math, a matrix, is, a matrix is a display of elements arranged in rows and columns. Because they allow multivariable equations to be expressed in more compact terms, they can bring a simplicity and elegance into the most complex problems. Yet, they can also bend, torque, and twist. When applied to a vector, for instance, a matrix can rotate and stretch it in various ways. Yet Alec's poems trouble both the procedures and the conceptual clarity we might expect from such a form with its overt gestures to mathematics. He both evokes and undermines the matrix's condition of possibility, writing of, quote, multi-dimensional transforms, quote, fickle solutions, and the cascading transformations by which math's operations endlessly rework the given. However much these poems offer themselves as matrices, they are also windows into the units of a life, not unlike William James's drops of experience, only here that stream is made jagged with all the disjunctive logic of a contradictory world. He writes, quote, Bernard's tables are beautiful. This is not originally my feeling. The struggle there, it is unmoved. The struggle seems inward. Seen as a series of frames, the matrix becomes a way of asking what the basic unit of experience might be and how language might map it. Does it reside in the word, the syntactic fragment, a block of text, or the entire field of the page itself? And what do we do with experience when we know it can always be transformed by a further operation, a further deformation or creation of language? It's with pleasure that I introduce Alec to you today. He is a graduate student here in the English department at Berkeley and holds a degree in, uh, a degree in English and mechanical engineering. Please help me welcome Alec Chisoria. Thanks, Simeon, for uh, a generous introduction. So today I'm going to read five poems, uh, and unfortunately, I was hoping I could project them up on the screen, but um, I couldn't find the right AV equipment. Oh dear. Um, so I'll just read them. Uh, they come from two series of poems, and um, they are themselves in series. Um, so the first uh, is the first poem I'll read is the first in the first series called Identity Matrix One. <coughs> Bernard's tables are beautiful. This is not originally my feeling. The struggle there, it is unmoved. The struggle seems inward there. The color wages the struggle that her face does not move. We seem to be losing her to dark purple. Almost at times, excuse me, zero, zero. Almost at times, the woman seems to paint her teapot with passionless focus. I am jealous of the person who shares this painting. It's called breakfast. Too pained to eat, she begins to focus her vision at the opaque reflection in the tea. Fixed, a thought expands in her mind behind her eyes, pushing them forward, directing them through the table to the purple behind her. I must love you and to know you. Zero. Zero. I have coexisted with this woman 5,348 times since I was born. 
but I cannot share with you the feeling that this is the saddest painting. You brought it to me, and it is yours, not mine. Um, so the second poem is from uh, the second series, uh, and its title is A1, B1. A and B are one way, one of many ways to represent matrix multiplication, or to represent matrices, and then AB would be one way to re represent matrix multiplication. There is orange that becomes you, and you fill it completely and wholly. I cannot see that change, but your face above it and below it, shoring that being in the bells, becoming oscillations. I'd rather be blind than us. <laughs> Ran down the lane, the water on the left, and to the right the grass, and a doe appeared and crossed our path. Everyone was startled as the doe, and neither it nor we knew whether to wait or go. We stayed until it slow. The difference between resignation and acceptance, all this was, all this which is a system which has a feeling, iti, or the passivity, comfort. There is no delight and no mathematics. If what was once there seems always half submerged in. Dear, in correspondence or in person, the decision to not be involved in each other's, I think it would be best not to unfold it like this at the time. All this which is holy I, there is orange between being in the bells, if what be blind then submerged in, to not be right. The grass ran down the deer, and neither it nor me, oh, we stayed. Um, so the second poem in the second series, B2, A2. But wonder at voices, assured enough to be others, speaking for others, and but wonder if any value in knowing the measure of dread in every word placed in an element in an array, and only speaking for oneself and but. Divided by 29 for clean math is, say, one-seventh of a short life, and that is non-trivial fraction to experience as a loss it is to remain despairing of the ported, with the transporting quality of objects and spectrum. Color palette is dysfunction and aisle. But green dot green peruse your rings of yellow, and these objects cooperate estrangely with what you see. But do you ever wonder what impresses on us horizontal seeing the sensation? Strange to be in the rolling eastern hills, where every hill seems to be the field of vision. We descended to the waterfall, and you slipped and injured your knee. Before we reach the eroded stone's water, should it be? Hill seems of a short life, strange to be divided by water, should of objects, sparing of your knee. That is a non-hill. Seems hills where clean math is transporting qua eroded loss if you slipped and experienced as a waterfall. Congrues you for others. But wonder is dysfunct, aching for one sensation. <clears throat> you ever in an element, but wonder of yellow? And I am all sure enough in an array on us, horizon of dread you see but do, and knowing estrangely. Seventh of your rings divided by twenty voices, litany of objects seeing, sparing of wonder. What? This is a non-yellow. And, or clean math, but green transporting impresses loss, if you see but do, to experience estrangely. Speaking for seems to be strange, to be voices as water, should have for your knee an element, but wonder of vision, we enough to be hills, where reached in an array, and you slipped of dread in knowing the waterfall. So these, these matrix, matrices get larger and larger. Um, so this next, the third in the series is 83, B3. Are nearly imperceptible traces that can't be seen, except they become odorous when the cat sniffs at a corner of the dresser or bed, craning her neck, then does it mean that she has a deeper memory more vivid than I? 
Having a parallel experience, I tried to see him to say goodbye, but the administrator proclaimed him a room behind a high wall. I choked out an okay and walked away, but I forgot my wallet, and so I choked out and I forgot. Feel thin-skinned. Memories return not through any involuntary action of mind, but through the body. And not that they do not appear, but it's a feeling that I'm emerging them from a pulpy recess here and sometimes here. Not arraying, not, per not preserving, not crossing oneself or others, not remembering oneself or others, not multi-observant progress, lesser things than the relentless contact. Others not imagining, not forming, not attempting, no. Formulae wear out as soon as they are discernible, and the question is how to recognize among these old decorative rationalia the historical wages that will last. Given the fact I've lost all poetry sets, at not this feeling. If you try not to be an intelligence, if you don't reflect me, you don't. If you are self-luminous, if you have no part, can you protean transform successively into something that you are not, or does that require a touch bit? Or others they become, are nearly not arraying. Relentless contact does it. Recognize. Proclaimed, I tried to see as they are behind a decorative ratio hem from a pulpy knot or a protean trans. It's a feel here and require a touch. So this last is a, turns into a three by three matrix, so it's a bit of a longer poem as well. Here I find my life strangely irrelevant. No more, it's it a sin to include it if I wanted to. There would be, this fragment is two years old, you were there. No satisfaction in the world. There are demands, yet no souvenirs survive the trace of no. A poem, no relevare, even here, word. That peak is as high as it is by this peak, admixed with that flat plain between one or two miles high, creating a single bow bulge. You were there. Was this an innuendo that I wrote, or did I really relate to landscape this way? You, yep. Yeah. The sun had mixed with autumn rain, ripe fall leaves blew on lane, colored it a sweeping yellow-red stain until the night, while faithless winds sung the refrain of a fickle sight. This was from a comic ballad, Ewart. Not even near to being all that bad, but our habits were singular and a whirl. We found ourselves in an alien landscape. We were like rain in May, or yet you need not appear in these poems anymore, and you are not always you. Anxious to find a new form, still do not feel poetic, but in this most way, multi-dimensional transforms and nothing, and the memories of three-dimensional dynamics do not even occur worst. Not less because found myself more truly and more strange, less because truly strange, not more, because truly and more not found, because more less strange, because truly found less, because truly and less strange much. To include it and a world, not even near my life. You are not even here. We need not survive. There would be ourselves that are relevant no more, the trace of any more, and like rain in May demands, no satisfaction in the end. This most sin to find my life, life to find anew. Here word occur worst, mores of souvenirs. Way to there would feel poetic. No more the traces of thy dynamics, and nothing demands. Satisfaction transforms. Strangeless to include it. Here I find my not less truly and relevary, even less strange at no use. Truly strange to there. More truly irrelevant. Found less the trace of demands not found. Satisfaction truly and. We're singular, 
that flat, not even as high as you were, not this way that I wrote. Need not. We found our one or two. Our habits peak at next. I really relate to poems. You were rain in May. We were a single bulge. With that most, anxiety to find that peak. This way, you occur worst. Wrote memories of three, one or two, multi, don't. Still do not feel admixed. Dynamics do really relate. Was, not this, was this nothing in creating transforms? More strange, flat plane, found that peak is as strange. This way you wrote. Use truly one or two more, truly admixed. Relate to less because you are not found, because truly creating a blue, singular, and a whirl. Not even near the sun, you are not always you, sung the refrain. Appear, we found a sweeping yell, our habits rain right fall. This was from poems, any, while faithless in May, or until the alien landscape. In this most blue, anxious to find the sun, worst comic ballad, you sung the refrain of three a sweeping way, Still do not rain ripe feel, fickle dynamics, and faithless, and nothing, till the refrain transforms. Leaves blew on less, less because the said sun had you truly and strange. The refrain of the less, use it, use it truly a sweeping. Myself, more rain ripe, found less sight. This was not found while well, faithless, until the because truly. Thank you. Clark Coolidge is the author of more than 40 books of poetry. He's also a jazz drummer. He recorded with a psychedelic folk rock band called The Serpent Power in the 1960s. He's also the editor of the writings of painter Philip Guston. He's been associated with the New York School, with the language poets, and also for good measure been called a one-man avant-garde. His most recent work is equally various. In 2013, he published 88 Sonnets, a book made up of 88 sonnets, and a book beginning what and ending away, a 600-page multi-form epic made up of 20 chapters. He also released an album that year with former Sonic Youth guitarist Thurston Moore. In light of this variety, it might seem strange to ask of Clark Coolidge's writing, what makes up the mind of the poet, when the answer is clearly both everything and too much to say. But in his 1986 book, The Crystal Text, he does offer an answer to that question. A prose writer's mind, this is from that, that book, a prose writer's mind's mass is through his thought plots, but a poet's is fielded of words. What do you see when you look out with your language? A pile of hooded buckets? A loose laugh spoon? Miles of adroited pain paper? Lungs full of glass beads? a list of nodules knowing of nameless. There are never only things, just but the words retract, circling as a flying object almost home, with your pen above whatever oval tensions or the wheat in your litmus class, the glow on the fear. The witness motions are there, or add another E to that TH. The attempt to define what a poet is the attempt to name a poetics, is deliciously redirected into the strange worlds that language can see into. Words have an uncertain relationship to the things that they are and the things that they name, recursive but not self-identical. It seems sometimes in Coolidge's work that we are only bouncing between the hard edges of words, but it is precisely those edges that have so much possibility. The poetic function is additive, has the capacity to turn there into ether, making the terrestrial sphere of things into an otherworldly glow. Tonight we're going to hear Clark Coolidge read from a book beginning what and ending away. 
This volume was published last year by Fence Books, but was composed over eight years from 1973 to 1981. In 1979, Coolidge read from the manuscript during a legendary residency at 80 Langton Street in San Francisco. Coolidge read for seven consecutive nights for two hours each night, and we should be so lucky. I mean, I know that some people here were so lucky, but tonight we'll get some of that. I've only begun to engage with this immense and important work. But what seems to me most epic about this long poem is the space and capacity it gives for its, its readers to form connections heretofore unanticipated. Coolidge has used the term arrangement to describe what holds his works together. It seems to me that what's vital about Coolidge's arrangements, whether 14 lines or 600 pages or the arrangement from that that we'll hear tonight, is that they leave ample room for entry, for rearrangement. They have range. Almost 20 years ago, Bernadette Mayer wrote of Coolidge, in a world where people are perforce cut off from the mystical, cosmic, and sublime aesthetic everythings, the works of Clark Coolidge provide for us the beauty of some of the interstitial stuff that might weave a perception to change the world back together. That interstitial stuff is what we imbibe and create together when we read and hear Coolidge's work. And as Mayer writes, it is beautiful and promises ties to everything. Please join me in welcoming Clark Coolidge. If somebody has some water, it would be nice to have this, this may take a while. Someone does. <laughs> I feel like kidding around like Ted Berrigan and say, I think I'll just read a few hundred pages of this, but I don't even want to kid about it. I, I think I figured out a way to read this so that it won't take forever and it'll also give you uh, some sense of the shape of the whole work. It, it, it's hard. I mean, if I just read a couple of sections, that wouldn't really give you the shape. So I figured out, um, <clears throat> since the work is structured, to put it too simply maybe, uh, by sections that have subject matter that interests me, like caves or movies or weather, and then sections that take from authors, like Creeley and Bernadette, and Eigner, so on, that I would, I would pick up one page from each of the 20 sections and then read them in the order of the sections. Um, and I'll, uh, if, it, if the, they do have titles, I'll read the title. If they don't, it'll just be the number, but I'll read all the numbers. Uh, it starts out with the caves and the Floyd, referred to in the beginning as Floyd Collins, the great American cave explorer. What Floyd wanted to be seen, the ribs of the glass radiator collapse in storage, aisles on the if so what maybe, and under the neighboring, I'll make slash hum of the felt timber. What Floyd wanted, what the wanted, what he wants then down over the swamps boxed, the leaf it envelops itself, the inlaying tree. Floyd has entered the onions, listen to that goes down the road, goes in the salad. Floyd in his rabies balances. I'm of life of light, pinning to back tobaccos. The loss is estimate then, and now it's not to be toted. He sucked in air into the chilled air, the face like a Pocono under the slicken sides. Blew around into the thickened watch of his mantle floats back out. He did not not had it in various the pendant clay fluorites weren't from there and then on display. His interest in caves was in the cave region. Only a powerful kerosene lantern for company and light. His ill-stated trip into the cool breathing in the ground, a stout tap, a literature in passage 20 hours, mostly a lifetime, a little, stocky in winter, too. I need what he wanted to be seen, altar, and I turn to the stones of a salad, weights, 
How will it swing in on the then and now face around air? Pins of his watch lasting what it's to go talk. Thickened, motions begin the state of words, so but what if it may be? Memory itself then boxed goes to that. Out of the stones, pinning to balances, held floats back out, arm in various breaths, even one sees. Then the stated passage region, if rather numbered. I'm out of a face. He did not part no odds, no way out of the air. The tobacco's chilled, lantern down over our eyes into the ground, going so be words of motion, the various fluorites, cat so slow, threshold, word shed. Number had it, memory of such that it boxed. Literature might part, later might be held to motions that word. The company clear as simple light odds. I lost that counts what sees names. Estimate, one could say, a face stop that proves my floats back out. Nice state of proves of light of life. Floyd in his matters, balances, sannies, sucked in memory, pushed rather only on our numbers, some to that, what the want, oh, that there as I have it counts, under fall of slick insides, the walls come blank, better stop the face has entered down the road, gone and now so are going, names be the first of to say like a watch it, talketh that it part it might, solution envelops itself, box the swamps, what the memory wanted, dust raises less than that he wants. Slid one later or take in then. Onions enter. Glass in storage. Radiated I'll make of the felt number held. One could say various fluorites, the literature around the mantle. It can't be that to listen to it, will it? Pinning balances to the lasting of pins, old alike to that, what just else ends. Words of the held begin only in the ground. What ends before the thickened various caves on display? Names be, if I say anything, unless in passage, tubes for that matter. Nouns going, so are the counts. Floyd felt, had holding, entered back to that it pins. On before the one stated on top. Envelopes of the kind itself stops. Odds on motions be words of the held begins still. Frog floats clear of all this. So simple. Two, Beckett. True ruins last long, so many times, all sides out of mind, no sound as one, no two, only little gray blue, body blacked out, only upright, no issue open over backwards. True gray sand as gray as ash, all light of white and square blank, Planes all gone, never mind the gray air. Sound was timeless, the passing figment light. No mirror to stir the ash. Earth mirrors no sky, but passing the dream never changes the hours. Little God open to passing days. A face again is in the blessed curse. Deluge features, cracks and blanks, little gray holes face too pale blue. All white plains calm at last long, I the mind is gone from. The light's figment never was airless, no gray timeless, touching the blank plains no sound, the sheer mind gone closed, rigid gray, locks beating to endlessness, a heart to face on him, blue days as in the will to rain again, cloud passing a blessing, time a four four refuge square and true, no sound backwards or over long. No cloud, no sky, no sound, no earth. Sand, a little gray, ash, the same as earth. Only to the sky, the body is upright. Ash, gray, earth, sky, all side as one, no end. There will he be and stir, sand in the sky, air in the sand. Only time to serve one dream. Only upright will the body block the heart from beating. A little dream of ash gray blocks, only one side of the earth upright to the sky. No more holds in the sand. One step more will make it endless. Breath on all sides. The same sound makes all gray. Sky, body, ruins, earth, body. Slow sounds backwards over four walls, sides a single black block, little body, fast arms, legs endless, dream never vanished in the passing hour, smooth body the only relief from a few holes, endlessness to his back he will make it, 
This day dreams and nights made of dream of other days. Will to stop into the space of day and night again over him. Never to dream, but it's endless. Four. I need to like so large a literature at my part, and the scale waits on the various openings of a book to her. In company of the various ledges, an American forward, looking on the matters of space that might match the names held light to the notions one could state, word shed, cloud space, donuts one could memorize, posed to the passage of nature that taught him. Tobacco's going apart has felt the wills to it, room for to see names as onions and let float back things alone mastered, better estimate the various stops, the hours, the armhole balances, the word box, the books at times, the air to a bell, a big <coughs> hole, but it was iron. Estimate music this close to the horizon that one may see it named as a cover. Slowness equals closeness to small things. Onions as definite as lava bombs. The object of an older number fills in the lantern slides as a breath to me, a lighthouse burnt like. Slick insides, boxes as verse goes and lasts, they may shift <coughs> one's posture in a novel. Position out in the passage of amber, science likely as toothache, down the road parts to music, definite old horizon as if this were verse. He managed to escape from this because his allegiance has really been with his sense of the contemporary, because he has always evolved with the times, despite the obstacles placed in the way of acceptance of the works he has written that transcend the public image concocted, by, to, concocted for him by publicists. Number part of it, memory room to let space plan, in the memory that nouns slid wants. It's again to float that held the clouds very matched to the matters of task, a stop that it joins a while, a slope that begins all too close to will. And there my estimate was, as light as one could say one sees its name, motion that were to be held, pose that shall that hears it, liking the house on the scale of a bell, suddenly to box the swamp of an old car, light proving and entered, and much such loads it walls, and the quicker the word a door larger. Five, the music. Block, 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 block. Worth it? All of them are worth it. We see. That's what I want to find out from the best way to know, like to find out. Let's call this, think of one. Cool it a while. Fast, isn't it? Well, you needn't. I didn't. Worry later. It's good to sound good to a thing of sound, like something feels as if it's something's been through. Let's well, cool one. Think of one. I mean you. You ask a question, that's the answer. One time I talk that figure, and sometimes I feel like talking. Worry later. Played twice. Every place can be big. A small place can become the biggest place. We see. Who knows? Ask me now. It's so far back. Time flies. Let's see. And fingering on the piano jump from that to reading further than that. Let's call this. We see. Think of one. I started the keys to move to play on the piano. I saw how the rolls are made. That's all you hear about on the radio. Worry later. Work. Black radio. Black book. Six. I am so large, I liked suddenly being an American. <laughs> that is, this is just an old car I tried to open on a smile. Liking to stir on the scale of looking on each as time to a house expressing to the letter plans for matters of space. The bedroom was thought out to the very match for a light I might have had to, to, to obtain. The letting of things to a pound of the door, stamp rubber as gestures, separate clouds, donuts at his time, the motor will time. I'll be here not at all a book to her. A house forward is a greyhound clearly tightening Bach, mastered and joined, mastered and put to task it. That's a light, 
That's it was. Again, then a house is forward will. That's a wedding with planned space. That's a while where time's a bell. It's to room much, make it for box slope. That's both that. Again, as well tightened, coffee to last. Again, at times, it's now to time. It's again. That's over the rest ever sees. That's as any ever one of the things. It's, that's of it. Again, poses room for. That's odd as parts, times to longer each time than. It's on. That's a while. Again, of a night of nature, wall. That's of forms, so one of its kind that can. Again, as letter, well, parts last. That's close for it to make much room. That's all of it wills to it, hears it. That's that in felt shall more than stop the donut as Miss calls itself again on. All song must lack room. So, Creeley, Robert Creeley. The clothes in the door, no light, word figure, open and go. Day friend, song form, no one thing here. Care to look, say, slowly. Dream utter credit, window remains. Light passing foot, drift love mind, grace put. All here go, object despair, light song, form window, tell word, pass ground, fit kiss. Stand quiet, describe mind, please act, ground distance. Say open door and song, dance lady, man wall, watch music, kiss water. World, leg, friend, bed, remain, figure, object, sentence, sky, wall, desert, floor. Light, it is always in mind, there is never a distant mind. But if in the distant sentence I cannot remain, not words or music only, but a figure resistant to what it describes, there is a change of look, a form when past. A number will not be this one. Then to see the light like a fit word drifts, an interval of water as white. Foot blunders fit, describe ground alone, please animal leaf figure, put sentence to water, music to birds, face to sky. Say lady, utter window, holy home, fit care, say day, look fit. Eight, matters, choices of time, tip, parts of desire, and airs out those boxing bells paged, names plate on or on last then space. He goes at last, the during words were verse, atomic slid looking on and mind, the breath to fall to time, the horizon is a small thing, an onion lasts and lights on to limit, desire could match the clouds as a taut and burst. A period seen down the road, a book parts the pin can in space, the lasting noun wants lasting its name, names definite as one may say it circle waters crack, the lantern faces egg. On during parts face to music and matters will to name the wall's bell, passage behind falls to time, lapsing rooms matching bound to surface valves, the holes an obstacle let space stop to plan. To book, bring a child, built an egg, a bell to box walls. This door is breath, watch it fall. The shadow gradually during, small hand hill brightens. Faces last at clock, the stops, the position, and books the life by walls slid once. The held cut blocks, one's red, one's iron, to small things around us that may last. To bring limit faces, see it. Who can what you see? An older child in words removed, shears to opening build, pen verse, plan prose, the slow closes the matter, owner. Fences could task too close to stops and matches matter spot, beat, beat the quicker word for old car now stands for door. That word on the floor rose, can to cut after missing the held horizon, matter of horizon will. Who can match that fall to name it? Passages, balances, the cut beat slid concocts, lands written as floats, all this out of breath goes a verse, prose fills, forward heats, nature grows, bells raise, build as if faced for a laugh till sounding a particular rose. Nine, a geology. Stone, and then it do grow back. 
Slants on rock, then aired as trees. Blimp net its pin as rock joined the shelf. Rock blent matisses. Rocks are caps to the pods of salad humans. Sit on a rock, pick on the earth. Rocks are moons removed from flatness. Rocks tune up behind whole stories. Rocks stick and suspend, stipulate the mark. Rocks are windows of our air with bubbles that are punctuate. Rocks throttle, coruscate, impossible. Rocks light up flat in the species, coin in the realms. Rocks are shot from stones, stones of rock. Rocks are probable, unflappable, their words are on edge. Fall down and it's rock again, thawn of grain and holy. Rocks are twinned by fire in a pinch. Rocks collapse in the plot shift geometry. Rocks lie tame in the cold, wheat bench on call. List rocks and you find sand, freeze glass, cast numerals. Rocks face the stars, caught as, say, Janet Lee. Rocks wait and replace the trunks in the ocean. Rocks are kept by the time. An old saying of rocks, clouds clot evaporates. Don't hum stone and rock is what you mean. The valley is open to all that's left of that rock remains. Rocks are as all set as books. Sand is rock once gone through. Rock is a covering that buckles but won't remove. Rocks are not empties and cover not one. Rocks have not insides nor outsides. Rocks are all edge. Say rock, what do you deem? Pins found in rocks can come loose. Rock is lit and puts out clouds. Inside the rock is an engineer. Rocks fall from the lip, a brush with water. Rocks hold the stain. Rocks lead. Minds set on rock orient and don't sink. Rocks are of two kinds, face and waters. Some rock parts chambers. Rocks may take up a note. Rocks are mechanical and tend. Change your mind. No question, rock intrusive in relation. Rocks pinned to the sun. Some rock is known as water, a zero in open spaces. Rocks tense, sketch, and reverse. Rocks can be bored, vacant as signs, drum of a region. Rocks are a legion in the station of formation. I wanted wanting to be desired the matter. With collecting the hands cut to walk the choices out of breaking time stood. The fun of it seen in whole feet, sheer leather, the lie to give the hang to life, facing the fence heights to the water's health, fly the one hill blocks, catch, rock scar, remove, tip as if a ray. Close air formed as doors, circles, the car's circle chased, the boss of cues, stone removes, cement to the world as if a ray fold. With one part spot, the one part cracks. Plates that thick catch the words out. On hands, small hills, till whole periods seem to, as if blocks period array miss, as can catch, agate a great, scissor built, surfaces fault, removes out of hand heat, the ladder bridges. Boiling studied hangs in the way of drop of smoke of pin fences, out of on the other hand airy, words, planes, cubes. Cut lands, the water kills, that our doors close to limits bring. Faces, the main changes built, they lapse. A life by walls grown to top the hills. A summer can falls to time. Child, a roundness, inches being from an egg. Town's cube and surfaces removed, a rope, stone, wet open spot. Faces, the during words. Vacation fishers, town missing, the matter to can and space the white of a grape drop to an agate pin. Val's time shears, cuts into the cliff, up home scans the spot, boils glued on a leather scene and feet removed, so beat to the cut that rose. On options that are roundnesses, saw the year after the walk is timed, or up to the kill, now misses the quarry, a red face parted as once spotted, topazes bound for the heads of small horses, a clock that limits a road removed. The daring reach performs. I know my own needs. Glimpses out of rabbits rather run. The kill is one green, the hill another blue, about to lies if a ray is enough, circles as a scissor, the rock scars, the smell names, or topazes miss, surely be welded 
to the change places fill, all brought to an agate, sure time as cars. 11. Dali, a lecture. I wanted to grow from a town that extended an egg. A life by walls commits one to a life of lies. Which life of the lie hangs one too many options? Which are the choices? Which is the way? Roundnesses are a vacation. A child scans the town from its air. Night is being around, about to lurk, and only doors close. One in any avenue is enough. I wanted to be a clock. I wanted the chance to sneak by foot into the hot meat I saw with my maids. Nothing stood beside my house. I was chased out of my robe, wet and sheer for the fun of it, till I saw it wasn't even a part of sin for my maids watering. Maids and other than leather are often kingly. On the one hand, the hallway glued to one spot, the summer noon on the other, a red leather partly open door. I would catch glimpses of sweat out of the heat, canaries with scissors to their manes, rabbits in conglomeration boiling oil, an acrid smell as if a ray of sunlight cut the white of an egg. I desired a dress beater that rose, beating to the topazes on my hands. I scattered grapes to the horses before the coming meal. I would catch a can of smoke and fly. The matter of vegetation is hopeless. A kind of sugar water whipped closed to the world. Intelligence in space, a matter of a burst of too absolute eagerness. I would rather press or squeeze my exact limits to the drop of a pin. In other words, onions without, with boundless, even dangerous ramifications. Better to be colloidal than original. And I am as airy as an agate. I wish my ornamental dreams formed into a mineral, my eagerness to inquisitorial molds. It is a bit hopeless to search for matter. And yet my first version of myself, a safety pin, already closed. <laughs> Twelve. <clears throat> A hole to make off with, but the choice parts, to put down at last the period to limit a horizon, else it named to fall. A mirror that stops that the words were. I wanted to reach you, not that I'll see you, phone. He loosened his arm with orange, art again during. The strings can in space, quartz creaks and lit eye. Could I have knowledge from these inklings grounded? The poem could be big or long. Things that are supposed to work themselves older, firm forever, do I interrupt? and a memory of carbon to see its circle. Are you held over my breakages? Seems once I am looking on the parts flee. I seem to, to bell out that the child I would pose a glider, thoughts teeth in a hail of stains. Barker in a slowness of petals rude, he digs a stock rock. Knees are always off the point, tongue losing, a part of the many start wall, tribulance, lands after the bridge mindful, irons occupy the pendulum to a sheerness fast, the lapsed fallen caught true, a during close to prose removed. These are the winds apart, one could name, pin content, light and step, an egg and alley, matches that frost, ground that doubles, loosened small things filled in writing as a wheat. A gliding turbulence. You are as gone to a fault as that gate. It's to connect, to repeat, relate, or a misspelling and continuation. My lens, a song, the word slow closes. Such an afterbreath is memory. On a, on a word left out, the lungs could lapse, or could I be out refuted? Place the coat sleeve down my arm and lost, stopped up in plurals. Seemed time had fallen, that this be gone, this, whatever you count, gradually during as a stay, and a point on the world of heat balance so it floats, onyx balls in Asia deserta, where everything slid to a perfect verse. Song, song, once down, see verso. 
storm song of some sentence with inclusion. Velocipede, only the loose parts, and sometimes in tandem land, a laugh. Thirteen, weather, such a thing had never been seen again. A dozen Eddie Constantines moving in step through the same doorways of the hotel suite, and it's not done with mirrors. Cycling tub tableau, to be, gun, to be done with words, to raise the arm by every point to something else. Song, else it weathers, or else it binds, or which else movement, turn to join, turn to every motion, that rests the motion. Urge it up into what makes, sounding of a day, the arm it in joins at what of a slip or of rest. The term in which the weather joins the song, the song point of some point to make anything else complex the arm and on line that points to it join. Semblance of thing else, weather, armor, or else, let's join the rest. Song. Putting the weather on the line, dropping it over into the sink, and having yet to lift up the next week, things that staying below, things that stay below, the transformative zenith axis every point, to this a landed axe surround, pinpoint ledge matters it up into singles, gradients, pump flowers, mid-morning else of things. You take a glass of water and you suddenly find it's two o'clock. Should have been noon. Oh, it all changes from what you thought to any more think. Makeup created by Jack Dawn. A whistle turning green in its carbon arches. A little four page work about badges in January. A gas of dust. A moon gone dark with a frost. This thing is liable to probably just come right off. <laughs> this, then, that, then, the other thing, what that you do can even come true and is given off in tempo. What could be more put there than the one that was over, less standing, letting air? That is to say, but what is? Nozzle first, high mist, stems thickening toward noon, a highlight litmus for what's it stand for and standing for, extending from what was not at first wholly put in. The long day opens its maybe clouds up, arguments for a weather or how much the sun Dots on beads, the cavalry is sounding on fine, all up breath, coda, coda over and out, dumplings. But what are they laying out flat? No source, but crests, no ridge, but beams east. Fourteen, but Chubby's back, sports extras of his very pants. <coughs> but how does he will? Nickel means, he himself found in more than twin appearance edges around all relief. He himself doesn't mean it bounds. His itches tint, says the snake. But the world is caved in blossom. Leaves trill me, stop, and the clouds up. Of a sort of envelopes opening. And these are not less so done to. A house of a white in which are plier banisters. Map and basalt and what the trees have left of him waving at me. Do you see him a head or a fiction? and not less than it looks or it flies. Came into the room, that wasn't much there before I opened it to him. He's met everybody, but I've only met him. Then he only breaks the ribbon up into fronts and cleavages. The ribbon's only the one just out of sight, hope boasting sign. The balls into and out of their holes, rolling place of red end gum shears, tilting birds to the padding breasts, seat in front of steam, water, love, everything. I didn't want it to fall on the wires, angle to the mine, raindrop in the way of writing itself that road. I pushed the worm further through to the boards in front of the shelf with some dishes and the alarm clock, a riveted kind that blows up because it had no safety valve, turning to a blueness, the trilobites beneath the drill, not less so bare me, modern of that raindrop, not less so that that the sky goes over Chubby's back. Everyone's waking heaviness, the tongue sent tilting. Report that then the pin flies, he find himself shoes. He find himself shoes for birds loose in the fields and alone with all. He didn't fence it, sheared it to ribbons and then stood it. He ticked the frogs off in his well log. Then the party wakes to guttered wicks, said he's building columns of a coffee, awaiting the bug break from its roof and the carpet shears to an amber the equal days, rose manners. 
I have a cap. You would pick up at any switch of the light to say, where wouldn't you? Clinking glasses of a damaged chat to cover it. See you back at the portrait belt that beams. He's lifted again. A slight winded if on pitch, I'm satisfied. We're on a dark and I'm not but resting. Moby Dick sinks at the drill and raises a crab. Colors a mite after all, the whole sky continues, goes over, that he's never injured as many persons fleeting by marbles, by, by funnels, related shot, then he's rumored home. 15, Bernadette, Bernadette Mayer. I keep going to the bathroom, I must be just an aqueduct. <laughs> The water is lighter than the marbles it enters, the bow long enough to shoot, complete. The strata towers under the ground, pull the chain, and start the cave. The mountain is but a monument to Tom Ball. If only the work could be all mistakes, all the deviants agree. We all lunch in a Nixon mask made in France. Pierre Cardin has his own, it's white and dry. Come out like a photograph to the March sky day wind, but it's still February on the map. Don't you know where you are? I am. Must be getting to a state of romance. Writing's just a life without rules. Hand me that straight edge. Throw away the glue. <laughs> Nothing's ever through. I know all the those in the book and out of it. Numbers, music has most to do with and most without in any art. Punch the roll, suck the mongol. Her dash, eyes of the mask, leaving nothing out, leaves out the glue. Sanity people leave lots and not spaces, mere and leave, period. The road is out today, just in time. Legal pave blurs up to speed. We catch bites of trees, a bit of anything, more actual than word of everything. You can word anything, not to lose everything. Crank the car up to the skyline, the word more actual than horizon. Sounds like a heart on the road never seen. Yet, sentences click, the road is a prose. No picture is still. If you scan it, stillness is never why we want it. Guy on the radio keeps hoping you'll like the jazz he's already played. <laughs> Meanwhile, I want to know what blank was famous for. Another blank sings. My life revolves about you. What earthly good am I without you? A variant, Canadian sunset, or a land of dreams, but neither one rings a bell. A kind of individual playing marked Eddie Haywood, forget it. Bean bags, hassle spots, dimes with no backs. The radio is a muter. Have you seen the face? The calm and collective leaves. From spirituals to spring, wows up and sleets. Tiny smoking jam session long ago, too far to see much, but here mostly, but he calls it all bum. 16. <coughs> but the here a telling of congeals, madness even jellies, come true, those stormy out of key saints, even then, might last beyond slight enough patches the plasm misses. <coughs> Belts of breads, beads of a groin, grown sweet as kisses, pale as in blues. Trail out of Sunday to run the end as a candle. Of saints inked into the scale of blame. Key wax egg on copper knob, the Doppler clock descends to dull, noose ends furnished. With a saint of wooden song, hair bulbs of oil, the saint of sharpness chills, blocks the sun's tightness. That here be a saint too dark to clock. Two saints of a largeness, particular of chocolate. This saint holds a vacuum in his brain, a saint of fingers lashing about would they were tongues. Saint Croc, whose mug preserved the snow all perfume to the hand, silver tendency to skip him. Saint Copper rang his siren, nearest tick of a falsehood. Then the kitchen saint of radium, his needle down the wells of the morning along. Saint Brew just admitted laughing to the bar, and Saint Star, last blade in its soot magazine. But the sun avoids the outermost magnetic saints, only known by variance in the orbits of others. Laura once fresh, now lost as a wire. One saint is a snare, another lit, once rested in a chair. A further neuter lights out, and it is written, 
saints with gloves cast in flame, others bubbles on stones, saints that bulge and clap and pop, ones that melt from salts, ones that clash once faced where keyholes are, saints that stain through walls, saints that water the eyes on stairs, saints inhabit garnets roll in cloud bed, saints clearing up to glow far, a saint of brick in Wyoming, a saint of handles in a frame of noise, saint just the length of this room, there are saints that open and the trembles to branches, saints that get even with a boy dream of thighs, dim bulb saints, flaghorn saints, bed fuse and cocoa hip, and barium saints, saints that some small use, saints to some small use, mount wavering deeps and write reasonable speech, saints that draw a chair to the structuring brain, legibles and peelables and essence, clothings to the faults and the duds of the cave that spinning still flame. These shown here just past all rendering. 17. Movies. A palimpsest, this fool's cap brass rubbed down to its remnant wood screw. Bark has shed this window up a rhombus. No tell of harbor light at Beguine. Mahogany shoals of amber sharks saw the carving <coughs> nipple. So snow me with camera piety, if death is a pumper. He shakes of his bed adrift, the laboratory wallboard fetish to a melt skull the night of the plunge brim drain. Say me how I see you, colossal keys on the map, knee flange seen from below, crust of meal halo. How tight or how masterful the statuesque regrets, he bites, the mountain dims, only the clip mast remains. The clamp mask? I slip behind the eyes and begin. I make merry of baits and fang. I laugh in a sausage. I sing mangles of my perimeter. I slosh and wait. I own no clothing will not be building. I sorely blend. I have collapsed the marbles and the dog. I come back, the mirror is reversed. I sand the washroom. I shine on a snag. I will wait for you, but will bag a face for you. I will wave off walls with a buckle. I would rather bottle a Buick. I gain a trilobite's back and a satchel with a stork's eyes. I will open a store would open a stone. I shot boils till the stupor empty. I set up clangs in a barn. I hold gas. I shift all things speak of me. I hang my flesh rust of blame. I run out of fire, then I sting through to more. I live in a frame. I lock my eyes to singe. I have magnet backing. I whistle food to powder. I trap my hand in upset plaids. I uncouth my shoes to the floor. I catch a mutter, I dissolve. I harbor snakes. I stick to my rose lips a rock of tongs. I write nothing but stains. I will sneeze the bus in my way. I raise a torment of stymy rates. The coals will rise with no more oil to shovel, no more than oils the stone to dust, no more than my word paper the walls, no more speech, the elbow of so much gas, not even my nose will be raised from the flowering of these walls, and the guttering at last they are damp, so their words are damp, so I revolve my lights till all black, enough gravity holds a book to no limits, I tell you nothing, I put you off, I shear loose, I set upon you a body of snares. 18. He stood at the window in the dawn and watched the boats. They curled and reached, but he would never be able to touch whatever they were wanting to ride from. On a swell, his fingers to the flowered paper dusky. He looked as always the sea came back square, cut, obdurate in the first light strong. No remnant of dreams, and he thought, the objects in this mirror are nearer than appears. The impression always that whatever he might have seen had just been drained away. The props always liquid, sometimes even smarting. His eyes went flat again in his mind, the temper of rains at night. A strip of land in the left-hand distance rose through the mist on the sea, but never a hill. He thought of his shoes, lifted one, the foot inside glistening as in golf. There are lenses in thinking ever wider than one's extremity. 
The surface of the sea became chrome and the sky joined it there. Time to settle, kind of fascinating, time to toad up. But he remained overly coated in the plot of light due to the sea. It was the phone. What do you want? I need you to finish. Who did you say? You. A click in the distance of a light going out on a service porch. He felt his teeth cling as if laced. The water had turned a tightening tinge, glycerin in a glass. Whatever she had used to attach herself to him, it had been none of his doing. He stood by the water. But it was changing, as if it had been readying itself underground overnight. He felt betrayed, a film on his palms. Someone else must be found to glow with blame. The sea now seemed pent in a certain gray. He had lost the handle on her face, but her voice filtered through the sun behind the building in fractions, some painted out as in navy stencils, some in strings on which a ruby toy, others rusty from the fire and a horn, amounted to a clabbered finality that he could have to keep, helpless not to eat what had been ever inedible, a postcard of an eyedropper balanced on a watch face cast below into the street, but in the sun. 19, which is called Foreigner, or For Eigner. Yeah. It took me a long time to realize that. He went up the wall that pictured sun with an eye to glamour. Caught off the squirrels as if to be caught off base, a frown line deepening the foundation wall. There were no halls. How could, how could be in a room so mindful? I wasn't. I deepened at the least crack, way of catch, way of distant. Whose father? Mine to wait for? He kept classic kelps in a case of amber and wait for them ripen. The porch all distance, though limits itself. Night bring in, washing cracker lines on pulleys to strong head the thread night. My cousin was playing with little blame while chatters tell. A north wind and a funnel to draw, the gull of late Catholic, Catholic bells and an early amplify. All over town clocks a page of whole soak. Fine thing if stowed, all the electric automatic pavement eye was a drench, was collapsing spring beneath seating while waiting for the town to draw out. The sea curved, gradual, massing out the hinge, my chair, my help with the plated food, the style beyond the picture of it. Waits for the partly house to dry, make foghorn stains of religion, a mock tame beef. Loose shingle in the carrier, babies spill out. Orange monsters the door, in case of sponge, melting weights as if sprung fine mine down avenues, gravel always gradual, an edge there for clams, neither quite cold nor straight to the bottom. Fire hotel, but it's wickets there, all the pond had clabbered, the snail, no, no wheels, enough, the origin of candy, candy wheat flake estuary dials. Could have won a straight arrow belt, glows in the danger some tool of dark, but that's another town, another awning, breathing on presidents sap you. My cousin ruled in spells, blueberry plates out, breakfast smash. The wall came through, true stance. Lights corner of a sudden, we aim them to blast us in agony and shortness. Wasps gasp and turtles tied got away. Did it then never do it again? Studies parceled and clothing boards slam with a felt. Mother let the cocoon go in windows latching in private breath. A shout from sand made to steer the hill. He caught no livery of tractors smearing, bent as my cousin still to bend, and a crazy uncle, but at mornings, stared in the fish. I would have you meet the wrong man, a champion of hallways far gone away down and the wind moves the town. Quite another table. 20, the last. Another life. I would be coming down the dead end and red brick street, my head well below the window ledges, till I'll always stop by one particular window to my left. No persons, no sound. Then, 
helpless to stop the sequence, I would look slowly up to see in a pot on the sill the brilliant red flower. Horror. I would be coming down with a redness, helplessly particular, to not a single footstep. The windows had been left to flower my horror. Break the sound in my head, helplessly young for anything but particular, the sills of slow absence coming down dead. At the rear end of my head, a well sounds, helpless with brilliance, Below the person's flower putting up with horror, straight up as dead as my flower, my power. The flower was helpless, the window to stop it, my head well below zero sound. What person's street? Whose left bricks? Whose story left me to stop with my brilliance? And what is a window to slowly deaden the sequence? There was no asking of the dream. Itself is a power, the flower its own business, but I am left soundly particular to be there. I thank you. from University Press Books. Buy a book, perhaps Clark Coolidge will sign it for you. And come back on the 20th of November uh, to this room to hear Tennessee read. Thank you very much.